Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at the Baybiya Palace His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Royal Highness has stressed that the challenges faced by the region at this moment requires exerting more efforts to enhance the security and stability in order to achieve further progress and benefit the people. They highlighted that the development efforts in the kingdom are in line with the royal visions to achieve a prosperous future for the kingdom. They affirmed that the top priority is to provide high living standards for the people of Bahrain and enhance the economic competitiveness according to the visions and directions of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Royal Highnesses affirmed that all services and facilitations are being provided to all Bahrains performing Hajj and praised the role of Saudi Arabia led by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, in this regard. His Royal Highness Her Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired the cabinet meeting today at the Bia Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Following the meeting, the Cabinet Secretary General Dr. Yasser Al Nasser delivered the following statement. On the advent of Eid al-Adha, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister congratulated His Majesty the King and the people of Bahrain on the occasion, wishing them and the Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns. He prayed to Allah the Almighty to accept the Hajj of pilgrims, hailing the facilitations provided by the government of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz al Saud, and its efforts to serve pilgrims. The cabinet called for the exclusion of the Gulf region from any crisis and conflicts and for avoiding tensions that lead to further crisis to ensure regional stability by maintaining their principle of good neighborliness and non-interference in the country's internal affairs and ensure international navigation in the region to preserve security and stability. The cabinet also commended signing the initials of Sudan's constitution for the important step it represents in leading the country towards security, stability and peace. The cabinet also condemned the shootings in Texas and Ohio and expressed condolences to the U.S. president, government and people. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed the Ministry of Health to hire Bahrainis, Bahraini doctors in the private sector to conduct surgical operations at the Salmania Medical Complex for medical specialties that are unavailable at the complex and to provide medical consultations as needed. His Royal Highness directed to study the allocation of a new housing project in Adair and Samahij between the two villages. His Royal Highness then directed the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments to extend the period of delivering audited financial reports to law firms until October to prepare it according to technical requirements during that period. Upon the Royal Directors to review the mechanisms of applying fees and the necessity to review the citizens' needs and within the framework of His Royal Highness Prime Minister's directives, to the cabinet approved waiving the fees of 83 services provided by the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, 54 provided by the Supreme Council for the Environment, 32 provided by the Survey and Land Registration Bureau, 18 provided by the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, 4 provided by the Ministry of Education, 
Two, provided by the Ministry of Forks, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, the Ministry of Labor and Social Development, the Ministry of Information Affairs and the Information and E-Government Authority, and one provided by the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority. The Cabinet reviewed the results of the implementation of the budget after the semi-annual closing to the end of June 2019. The Cabinet also approved the payments and financial obligations of seven government entities for the fiscal year ending in 2018. It then adopted the consolidated final account for the fiscal year 2018 and the budget performance report. The session approved a draft resolution defining the obligations related to the procedures for the prohibition and combating of money laundering and the finance of terrorism and the work of those licensed to practice real estate activity. The Cabinet adopted the risk assessment report at the national level and directed all ministries to take the necessary actions and practices to enhance compliance with the FATF standards and recommendations. It also affirmed the government's keenness to strengthen measures to combat crime in all its forms and according with modern trends and prevent them. The Cabinet discussed a draft agreement submitted by the Minister of Interior for Customs Cooperation between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia to facilitate border procedures for companies committed to internationally recognized security standards and international trade. The meeting discussed four draft resolutions related to the committees for the Supreme Council for Health, which comes as part of completing the plan to implement the health insurance system. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Chairman of the Economic Development Board, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued three edicts for the year 2019. Edict 2 of 2019 stipulated the amendment of Edict 1 of 2016, restructuring the Bahrain Mumtalakat Holding Company Board of Directors. Chaired by Deputy Premier Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the new panel includes the Minister of Finance and National Economy, the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications, the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's Court Advisor for Political and Economic Affairs, CEO of ADB, CEO of Mumtalakat, as well as Samar Majid Al Jishi and Ilham Abdullah Hassan as members for a four year term. His Royal Highness issued Edict 3 of 2019, appointing Khalid Ibrahim Ahmedan as CEO of EDB as from the 1st of September 2019. His Royal Highness also issued Edict 4 of 2019, amending some provisions of Edict 1 of 2018 on restructuring the Economic Development Board of Directors for Khalid Rumehi and Ali Moses Shafi. Mumtalakat Board of Directors appointed Khalid Ramehi as CEO of Mumtalakat effective from the 1st of September. Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa welcomed the appointment of Ramehi and praised the capabilities and his contributions to the national economy. He added that Ramehi will add value to Mumtalakat and will continue achieving its strategic goals that support the economy of the kingdom and achieve sustainable development. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah also praised the efforts of the former CEO Mahmoud Al Kohiji for his role in elevating the performance of the company despite the instability of the economy. Prior to his appointment, Ramehi served as CEO of the ADB since 2015 and served as chairman of Bahrain real estate investment company Idama since 2017. He also assumed a number of positions on the boards of national banks of Bahrain, Gulf Air and Securities and Investment Company. The Minister of Finance and National Economy Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa announced that a major reduction in the budget deficit as of mid-year 2019, putting the kingdom well ahead of its projected deficit reduction schedule. Bahrain's annual account closed for the 2018 fiscal year places the budget deficit at 894.9 million Bahraini dinars, 33.8% lower than the kingdom's previous forecast. The actual deficit recorded during the first half of this year amounted to 404 million Bahraini dinars, 245.9 million lower compared to the same period last year. The announcement follows the completion of the Kingdom's consolidated annual accounts closing reports and the performance reports of the implementation of the state budget for the fiscal year 2018. Total actual revenue for the first half of this year rose by 18.8%, an increase of 202.1 million Bahrain dinars from the year before.